Hey guys, I am back with a what can fit in my Balenciaga hourglass bag. This is the XS, extra small size. And um, looks can be deceiving. I saw some videos online of this where a lot of people said their phones didn't fit. Mine does. I have an iPhone 12. Mine fits perfectly. So we'll see um, what else can fit in here. The dimensions are seven and a half inches by five inches by three inches. So it actually can hold quite a bit for such a tiny little bag. Now you do lose some volume here because it's obviously curved. Um, but I just figured this video might be helpful for some of you out there considering this bag because I was considering the small size, which is larger than this, which is a great size for every day. And down the road, I still might get that one. I want it in the blush pink croc. But when I saw this and all the sparkles, oh my goodness, I just had to have it. So let's get on with it. I'm going to just, I have a bunch of items here and I'm going to lower this camera so that you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I'm going to have it here like this. Let me see. I have my desk here. Sorry. Okay. Let's do it like this. So I am, um, I'm filming with my camera, but, or with my phone, but I do have a case with a, pop it on that I, this is the exact case that I'm currently using um, with a pop it. So I'm going to show you how it fits. And just so you know, you can put it in the back pocket upright like that, um, which occasionally I might do. I, I wouldn't do it for a long period of time. I just don't do that. A lot of times I put my phone in my back pocket or in my jacket pocket. But if I'm going out and I'm wearing a dress, this phone will be going in the purse. If I don't have any pockets or anything, I guess I should say. So because I have the pop socket on, I like to put it in the front um, so that the pop socket is facing in the back. That way I have space on either side of it. Okay, so now I'm just gonna like grab a bunch of things. Um, here's a Chanel Zippy. It's empty. There's nothing in it, but it won't fit in this way. So you have to put it lengthwise. And what else do I have? I have this Kate Spade card holder that I love also because it's sparkly and so it goes really well. So I'll probably use these together. This also goes in here like that. And then I have a Chanel compact wall or just a um, the compact mirror. And this is where it starts to get a little tight because that pop socket does take up some space. But you can see it fits right in there. And so then I have certain things that I do carry with me. Now, I'll I'll probably carry a smaller dental floss or the individual ones when I use this bag. But that goes in there. Eye drops I always carry with me um, in a limp balm. So aside from my keys, this is what I would carry. Well, I wouldn't carry both a card case and a wallet, but I'm just showing you capacity. That's quite a lot. That, that's a lot for a lot of people's every day. And it closes. You could hear the the magnetic um, snap close. But the sides are fabric, so it will bunch up a little bit. Let me put this in the back. They will bunch up a little bit here, which doesn't bother me. Um, you know, I have it totally stuffed. Um, so let's take this out because I wouldn't carry both this and a flat card holder. Um and then let's take out the mirror and put an actual compact in that's thicker. That way you can see what else fits in here. Okay, just making sure it was recording. And um, keys. A lot of times I don't carry my keys because my boyfriend carries them if he's driving. Okay, so that fits really easily. And that um, doesn't stretch out the sides at all. You can hear it snap closed. Okay, so now let's see. Hmm. If I took this out, let's see if I took my phone out, put the wallet in, keys, take out the flat card holder. Now that leaves a lot of extra room. Now I shouldn't, when I say a lot, I mean, you know, it's, it's a mini bag, so it's not a lot of room, but all right, let me see. So let's see if I can fit. This is a pair of Louis Vuitton sunglasses. Um, they're not totally oversized, but they're not tiny either. 
So let's see how these fit in here with a soft case. Put them like this. And I believe they're gonna fit. Okay, so let's see. I'm putting them on like that. And just barely fits, but they do fit. And the sides bulk out a little bit here. This one is fine. This one bulked out a little bit, but it's fabric, so I don't mind. Um, yeah, so I got the sunglasses in with a wallet. So let's take the wallet out and just the flat card holder. Well, let me just show you real quick. Um, take all this other stuff out. So I have a flat card holder, keys, and a lip balm. The sunglasses would easily fit in there. Easily fit in there with plenty of room. And this doesn't um, doesn't bend anything on either side. So you can get an iPhone 12, a pair of sunglasses. Um, you know, you just have to figure out what you're what you want to carry with you that day in particular. You know, if you wanted to carry your phone, let's see, phone, compact mirror, keys, lip balm, and sunglasses, you very much could. It fits. Let's see. Not as easy, but it does fit. Oh, I have it peeking out here. So to give you an idea of capacity of this little bag, um, it does hold more than you would think it would. But if you're somebody that has to carry certain things with you every single time you leave the house, it might not be the bag for you. Um, I would say go with the small size. This glitter does not come in the larger size. Okay, this is only in the XS, the extra small size. But I wanted to do this video in case anybody was interested in this or if in case anybody also, here, let me move you up. I, um, like I said in my previous video and earlier, I was looking at the next size up of this and the blush pink croc, which I still might get. But um, when I saw this with the sparkles, I just had to have it. So anyways, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know um, what you guys think and I will catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.